Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, as of right now, we are currently in the final week of Forza Horizon 5's Series 32 Horizon Race Off. And I must say, now that we have gone through all of the weeks for this monthly update, Overall, in terms of the new to Forza cars, the new Event Lab props, the idea of collectively achieving a goal to obtain a couple of new cars, whether it's rigged or not, it's been a pretty decent month of content. And well, in less than a week's time, Forza Horizon 5 will be moving forward to a new update with Series 33 Apex All-Stars. Now, I'm sure for those who often stay up to date with everything Forza related, will know that before a new monthly series begins, Playground Games will often reveal all of the new content in the upcoming update just a few days prior in what they call a Let's Go livestream over on their official YouTube and Twitch channel. And to promote their upcoming livestream, often an image of the date and time will be posted up on their social media accounts along with a slight tease of what's to come. We've seen this time and time again and for Series 33 Apex All-Stars, it's no different. So, for those wondering, this was Forza Horizon 5's latest post over on X promoting the next Let's Go livestream, which will commence this coming Monday on the 22nd of April, and I honestly can't believe my very eyes right now. The car we see is not just your ordinary supercar, or even a hypercar, this is an all-out drag car. To be specific, this is indeed the Chevrolet Camaro Pro Stock. Now, ever since February of 2023, you may have heard a few people talking about the Camaro Pro Stock possibly coming into Forza Horizon 5. And the reason was, a leak was discovered including a full dialogue which actually turned out to be a draft copy, if you will, of the Icons of Speed Horizon story. And although there were many parts of the draft that shared the same plot as the final version, the original draft had a few differences. One was that it was meant to introduce a brand new drag racing system which included drag lights, a starting box, as well as a manual start that you can actually fail. And second, the Camaro Pro Stock was meant to be featured, I believe in the final chapter where you either race against it in a drag race or you take control of it by being behind the wheel. And since February of 2023, we've all been wondering, is the Camaro Pro Stock ever going to be featured in Forza Horizon 5 since we do have confirmation that at one point the developers had considered this car to be featured in their game. And as months went by, the thought of perhaps having a full-on drag car in the game began to fade away until this update funny enough with Series 32. Do you guys remember how Playground Games teased Horizon Race Off? They literally said, and I quote, wait for the lights to turn green and floor your accelerator. I mean, I was absolutely convinced that Series 32 would be all about drag racing based on that tease, but now after seeing the Camaro Pro Stock officially confirmed as a new to Forza car in Series 33, will this be the update in which Playground Games finally introduces the long-awaited updates to drag racing? Or is this just a one-off new car that doesn't necessarily fit with the Apex All-Star theme, but is still a cool car to introduce anyways? I don't know, but at least the Copo Camaro can step aside now as the main drag car in Horizon 5. Now, regardless if for Series 33 Apex All-Stars, Playground Games decide to actually introduce the drag racing changes that we have seen through the leaks for Update 33, even though the theme is completely opposite to what drag racing is, what I would love to see in the future, whether it's for Horizon 5 or a future Horizon game, is to have some drag specific modifications available to certain streetcars. It doesn't have to be all of them, just some very popular models, allowing players to equip extremely thick tires at the rear and incredibly small skinny tires at the front, add a wheelie bar much like the Forza Edition Beetle, basically some additional but simple drag specific modifications would be nice. Now, we are still uncertain whether or not the Camaro Pro Stock will be free to earn through the festival playlist or if there is going to be another car pack, it will be included in that. 
but I still maintain that we will also see some racing cars in this update as well. I just refuse to believe with a theme like Apex All-Stars, Playground Games just drops the biggest drag racing update of all time, where the idea of hitting the Apex doesn't even exist in this racing genre. We also know that recently Hennessy Performance may have leaked a new car in Forza Horizon 5 based on their latest quiz they asked over on their YouTube community tab saying that apparently the Venom 1200 GT500 has been featured in a Forza game before which we all know hasn't and this poll dropped just a week before Series 33 will go live. Now initially I didn't think that this quiz had any direct link to update 33 but seeing as how now we are getting the Camaro Pro Stock, maybe, just maybe, we are getting another Mustang for Apex All-Stars. Honestly, this coming update has the potential to be completely game-changing, especially if new updates are made to drag racing. However, I am also well aware that although Playground Games have been very good with new to Forza cars being introduced on a monthly basis, as well as the debut of new Event Lab props, as well as other small quality of life features, when it comes to big core gameplay mechanics, unfortunately that doesn't really get updated and I think for series 33, it will be the same. Now before I wrap up today's video, I know I've talked about drag racing, the drag racing possible updates based on the leaks, as well as my belief that racing cars will be introduced in series 33, but within the comment section of my last few videos speculating about this upcoming update, many of you also believe that track focused cars could also be introduced. Vehicles like the Honda Civic Type R FL5, which in my opinion, would be a great choice because it is a track-based car and although it's not completely a racing vehicle, it still is an Apex All-Star. And then of course, you can't talk about the Civic Type R without its rivals, which is the Toyota GR Corolla or the GR Yaris. I mean, those two, any one of those hatchbacks would be incredible as it is something unique within the Horizon 5 series. And of course, it's a car that we can all, I guess, relate to. And then I've also seen cars like the Koenigsegg Gemera, the Maserati MC20, to many more. And I have to say, I have no clue what Playground Games are going to introduce based on what they have teased thus far. But anyways, let us know what you think. This new post by Horizon 5 has certainly thrown many speculations off in a good way. But do you think now drag racing has something to do with this series? Or do you think racing is still the main theme for this update? And maybe what even is Apex All-Stars in Horizon 5? Share us your thoughts down in the comment section below as I do read all of your comments, guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to smash a thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And of course, if you guys would like to stay up to date with everything Forza related, be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.